everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back to share a massive Goose Creek lotion haul with you. So Goose Creek, I, they're probably still having a sale. This is about the same time last year that I ordered a ton of stuff. I got like candles and wax melts and a whole bunch of lotions. Um, the lotions that I bought were on sale for like $2.36. So I got a little crazy. I've got 11 lotions here. I'm gonna jump right in. Okay, so one of the first ones I got is this one here called Scarlet Apple. Um, really pretty bottle. I love the Goose Creek bottles. I just think that they're so pretty. Um, I love that all of their lotions are just this really nice, clean white color. They don't put any artificial colorings into the lotion, which I love. And I just love their lotions. They're very, very moisturizing, but they don't sit on your skin. Um, they're just super, super nice. The only thing with Goose Creek lotions is, some, with some of them, the scent just doesn't hang around for very long. Um, the lotion will still be there and it'll still be moisturizing you beautifully, but the scent will be long gone. Um, some of them are great. Some of them last for ages, but some of them are just bad, kind of like Bath and Body Works. Okay, so Scarlet Apple is red apple, nashi pear, red berries, soft vanilla, and sugared woods. I just knew that this would be gorgeous for fall. I love apple. I love it. This is such a fall smelling apple too. It smells very much like the country apple from Bath and Body Works. It's so yummy, I love it. I'm already ready for all things fall, all things apple and pumpkin, and yeah, I can't wait. So that is the first one, that is Scarlet Apple. Next, I got, this one is amazing. I've already used this and I am obsessed with it. Um, this is Lavender Vanilla, and I love their labels too. I think the labels are really, really pretty. Um, they're very like, I don't know, they're very much like, Home, you know, like a small mom and pop kind of, it gives you mom and pop vibes. You know what I mean? Like a mom and pop business vibes. And I love that so much. Okay. This lavender vanilla is so stinking good. It smells just like lush sleepy. If you guys like, if you like lush sleepy, you will love this. It smells almost identical. It's so good. Maybe even a little bit better. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I love this so much. I'm so happy I picked this up. Um, this is French Lavender, Violet Rose, Jasmine, Amber, Cedarwood, and Warm Vanilla. It's so good. The only problem is it doesn't last for very long. Like the scent doesn't last on this one for very long at all. You're only gonna get a couple hours where you can actually smell it, but I don't even care. That's fine. I mean, it smells so amazing. <laughs> that I can deal with the fact that it just doesn't last very long. It's so good. Such an amazing lavender vanilla scent. So there's that one. Okay, this next one, I am really pleasantly surprised with this one. This one is called Perfect Day, and I think it's supposed to kind of be like a, I don't know, it reminds me of like a wedding, like a wedding day fragrance or something. This one is Warm Amber, Creamy Sandalwood, and Sugar Crystals. This is another fragrance that would just be the perfect base for literally anything. It smells very nondescript. It smells, it's like slightly sweet, a little bit creamy, maybe like a touch perfumey, and maybe like the slightest bit woody but it's more of like a sweet kind of woody i don't know it's hard to explain it's a very nondescript kind of scent but it would be the perfect base for literally any perfume you could layer anything over this you could literally go into your collection grab any perfume and it would layer beautifully over this um, i'm really glad i picked this one up so that one is called perfect day okay next we've got pina colada i'm going to show you guys all of the labels just because i think they're super cute very like mom and pop. I just think they're so cute. Okay, so pina colada is pineapple, coconut, milky vanilla, and sugar. Um, oh my gosh, it's so good. That's exactly what it smells like is a pina colada. It's pineapple and coconut, really, really creamy pineapple and coconut, and really sweet. It's amazing. It's like summer in a bottle. In fact, I think I'm gonna put this on. I haven't put anything on yet today. I think I'm gonna put this on as my lotion and then I'll find something fun to go over it. 
so that is pina colada okay next we've got marshmallow waffle cone i needed this like i needed a hole in the head but <laughs> i had to have it for two dollars and 36 cents i could not pass it up um this one again with the cute little labels Um, okay, this one is fluffy marshmallow, warm vanilla bean, and dipped waffle cone. Oh my gosh, it's so yummy. It smells like... It smells like warm cookie dough or something. Ugh, it's yummy. Super yummy. Warm, edible, gourmand. Amazing. So, that is marshmallow waffle cone. Okay, next you would have seen this in my What I Wore Last Week video. This is Paradise Tea. I love this. Um, this is so good. I almost didn't get this one because I was like, I don't know if I'll like that. Oh my gosh, it's so good. But I had all of my like tea, all of the tea fragrances that I have, I had them in mind thinking I would love to have a lotion to layer my tea fragrances over. And this is perfect. Um, this is, did I show you? I don't think I showed you, sorry. That is the pretty label. I can't tell if it's focused or not, oh my gosh. Okay, that's the label. This one is crushed pineapple, mango, black tea, and coconut milk. With this one, you, you basically get the mango and the black tea, but it's very black tea heavy. This one is not overly sweet at all. It's like a slightly sweet, black tea fragrance with a little bit of mango it's really really good i love this one i layered jennifer lopez still over it and it was phenomenal such a good combination um so yeah i'm excited to wear some of my other tea fragrances over that so that is paradise tea okay next we have weekend getaway this is another one that i almost didn't buy um because I was like, oh, I don't know about the notes in that one, but then it just sounded good. Cotton candy, strawberry, spun sugar, amber, and vanilla. Um, I was worried about the cotton candy. I was like, I don't know, sometimes cotton candy I love and sometimes I really don't. But this is so good. This, it's not overly sweet. You definitely only get like a touch of the cotton candy and the strawberry. You definitely get more of the amber. It's kind of like a sweet sugary amber and vanilla with like a touch of strawberry it's really nice i like this one too um it's a good one so that one is called weekend getaway okay next we have rays for days this one's cute with the little surfboards or whatever those are super cute um rays for days this is pineapple lush melon clementine and soft sandalwood this is another one that i was like oh i don't know because i don't love melon i really don't love melon but this is so good this one i get mostly the cle the clementine it's mostly clementine but the clementine isn't super tart smelling it's uh sweetened up with the pineapple it's really, really nice. I really don't get melon at all, and I don't love melon, so I'm not sad about that. So I got lucky with this one. I really, really like this one. It's a good one. So that one is called Rays for Days. Okay, this next one, this might be the only one that I don't love. I haven't tried this on my skin yet, and I need to, but this one out of the bottle, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna like that. This one is called Pineapple Cake Pop. Super cute label. So this one is pineapple sugar, vanilla cake pop, and vanilla bean. Yeah, it smells really, really nice in the bottle. I'm gonna just take a little tiny bit and put it on my skin. This is one though that it's like when I smell it in the bottle, I'm like, ooh, I don't know, that might, it could go either way. It could go really bad on the skin or it could be actually really nice. Um, let me see. We'll find out right now which one it is. It's fine. Yeah. What I was worried about is that the a lot of the synthetic pineapple was going to come through. And that's basically what it is. It, it ends up smelling just like a very light kind of synthetic pineapple fragrance. It's fine. I'll use it. It doesn't smell bad. It doesn't smell as bad as I thought it would um, on me. It's fine. It's, I wouldn't, this is not one I would recommend. It's, I mean, 
it's okay. There's nothing, you really don't get the cakiness or the vanilla. It's just this kind of weird, very slightly creamy, like synthetic pineapple. I don't know. This one I would definitely give a pass to. It's not great. Um, so that is pineapple cake pop. All of the other ones though, I love. Okay, I picked up carnival cake. This one was another one that I was like, ooh, that's gonna be great in the fall. This will be wonderful to layer my like carnival-y or fair type fragrances over. And then with that Pascal Morabito fragrance that I love layering and then over this lotion, oh my gosh, I'm gonna smell like, I don't even know, like a walking carnival or, you know, fair. <laughs> Um, okay, so carnival cake is fried dough, vanilla, powdered sugar, and soft spice. Oh my gosh, I love this one. The only thing about this one, because it's got that spice in it, it smells like a candle, which I don't mind smelling like a candle, but you know, there are a lot of people out there that don't want to smell like a candle, which I can fully understand. Um, I'm going to put a little bit on this. I just put a little bit on my skin though. Yeah, the it's like a cinnamon. It's definitely like a cinnamon and it's strong. It's like a strong cinnamon. So this ends up smelling like Red Hots on your skin. Yep, it smells like a bag of Red Hots, which I love. I am totally down to smell like cinnamon candy, but if you're not down to smell like cinnamon candy, I would pass. I do think that this is a little bit misleading because it does not smell like a carnival cake. It smells like a bag of Red Hots. I love it. It smells like creamy Red Hots. Oh my gosh, I love it. I'm gonna adore this in the fall. This is an amazing one. I'm so happy I picked it up. I love smelling like cinnamon candy. So that is carnival cake. Oh my gosh, it's so good, it's so good. Okay, and then last but not least, I got this one here called Lovely Lily such a pretty soothing label okay and lovely lily is um, lily green leaves white citrus and spring blooms it's gorgeous it smells like lily of the valley like a very watery slightly green lily of the valley is exactly what it smells like it's beautiful it's very spring-like um, very watery and light and wet garden like it's fresh very very fresh delicate soothing just beautiful so i'm really happy to have that one too um, so that is lovely lily and that is going to be it guys those are 11 fragrances or sorry those are 11 lotions that i just picked up from goose creek i know some of you have ordered from the sale as well if you did i would love to hear what you picked up and what you've been loving or not loving um, i do hope that you all enjoyed this if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe before you leave and i will see you in my next one bye